Good evening, everybody, and welcome to Youth in Quarantine. Um, for you that is new to our channel, please click on subscribe, follow us on Facebook, YouTube, SoundCloud, etc. To the rest of the youth, yeah, I miss you guys. I miss the crazy, I miss the games, I miss the shouting, I miss the everything that whole attention landers land that i must everything but unfortunately we have to do youth in quarantine so today i thought about what i wanted to encourage and encourage you guys about and a thought came to mind as always there's a silver lining in everything so when I look to the Bible for how, what does the Bible say about those silver linings? And in every story in the Bible, there is a silver lining. And the silver lining in every story is Christ, God, working things out always for the good of those people in the Bible, whether they is trying to teach them something or whatever. He allows things to happen and then because of his mercy, extends his mercy, reinstates them again. You know, so everything, whether good or bad, ends up for God's glory and for your good. Um, so I have a thousand testimonies that can talk and testify to that. But um, I'm just going to stick to one. <laughs> That I can think of, and that one is. Let me see. Five about five months ago, I was um, under a different manager, and one of the struggles with my previous manager was that my leave didn't get approved as easily as it usually used to. For some reason, it will just be no, no, we have to decline it because dot 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 dot. And um, at the end of the day, my leave like shot up to an illegal limit of 80 days. And as time went on, I was obviously eventually forced to take it, but couldn't take everything. Because, I mean, 80 days, come on, I can take off a few months and be chilled. Anyway, long story short, I couldn't take all the days, the leave was sky high, dot, dot, dot. Um, then I obviously, as time went on, got promoted in a new department, under new management, and then the coronavirus happened. The thing about that is, we are an essential company, and so we have to work, which isn't the case, which isn't the problem. However, this impacted my life a bit on a negative scale, because we were functioning, but everything else wasn't functioning. And I was using um, Bolt and Uber and public transport and whatever to get to work. The first day of the lockdown, it was such a major hassle to get to the office. And of course, I brought it to my manager's attention. And he said, oh, learn, there's nothing we can do. Unfortunately, you need to just find a way to work. We have to be here. We render essential service. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, so I pitched some ideas to him to help myself out. And one of the things that came to mind was, yo, why didn't I take leave? It's like, yay. The point is, God was working it out for my good five months ago when all my leave was declined. Because now I had such a lot to leave and now I can take it in the 21 days. So look how God was working things out for me. I would, it would have been a major hassle for me to get to the office. Seriously. But now that I have all those leave days that was declined back then, um, I get to take them now in the lockdown. So you see, that is my silver lining in my situation. When I look to the Bible, the silver lining stories that come to mind is, um, one of it is Joseph. Joseph was the youngest of his brothers and his brothers were jealous of him. 
and then obviously they plot to kill him, put him in the pit, sold him to the Egyptians at the end of the whole day. He was God's plan for the people to save them from starvation. If you don't know the story, you need to go to the book of Genesis and read it. The silver lining is there is that God was actually working things out for our good, whether we didn't see it or not. And even though whatever calamities you face, at the end of the day, when you see the bigger picture or when you see God in it, then you realize that, yo, he was with me all the time. He's been working things out all the time. I mean, Joseph went to prison. You know what I mean? And God took him out of that. But it was part of the process to get to where he needed to be to make the difference or, the, or be part of the purpose and the plan of what God is set out for his life. Anyway, long story short. So there's a silver lining in every situation, no matter how bad it looks. And maybe you can't see it now, but the moment you see the bigger picture, like when five months ago, I did not know why they were declining the leave for no apparent reason. Um, and now I can see why. This is the perfect time that I needed. It really, really is essential for me to be at home because the struggle of getting to work is like real um so god is working it out and like the people in the bible joseph and all them he was working it out for the good as well um the coronavirus you see we don't see the bigger picture yet but one of the things or the silver linings in everything about this whole corona saga that i see is that the situation is drawing us closer to God, to have a relationship with Him, to call upon Him. Maybe we live lives that are far from godliness and now we need are drawn to a godly standard of living. So, because we realize that we need Him, you know, and that's a good thing. The Bible does teach us that um, if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray, seek my face, turn from the wicked ways. I will hear from heaven and I will heal their land. So, that healing of the land is a lot of things. What, wherever you need healing, God can do it. But we obviously need to step our game up and serve Him with all of our hearts. So youth, be encouraged that this whole thing is not just a negative. It's to draw us to Christ for our own good and for His glory alone. It might not look like it right now, but that's basically what happens in every Bible story and every situation that you face. And I can go on and on and on. But have an awesome lockdown further if you can. I will be sending the weekly challenges and then you need to post your video. But first of all, part of the challenge is this. You need to send me a video on starting with my silver lining in my life happened when dot 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 and then you need to obviously share your testimony of what was the silver lining for you it's clearly god at the end of the day so we give him the glory for that please post your videos and everyone is welcome to post a video and to the youth of kenton and baptist church i will be sending in the whatsapp group the weekly challenge have an awesome night.